Hello everybody, it's Bob from the Hopewell branch of the Mercer County Library and we are back with some more trivia for you. Today we have reached out to authors of children's books and they are going to be asking you questions about their own books. I uh, want to thank them all in advance for taking the time to be a part of this. I know they're, they all have busy schedules, but they were all willing to help us out here and provide a question. I think you're going to enjoy this. You might want to grab the kids and uh, make it a big family event. They will ask the question, pause for a few seconds, and then give you the answer. If you need a little more time, just hit pause on the video. Everybody enjoy. Hi, everybody. My name is Dan Gutman, and I'm the author of the My Weird School series. And I have a question for you. My question is, why is it that in my series, Neil is called the nude kid? Do you know why? Okay, the reason why Neil is called the nude kid is because in my book, Mrs. Cornwall is not normal, uh, Mrs. Cornwall is the bus driver and she's going to pick up Neil at his house. And she tells the kids in the back of the bus, we're going to pick up the new kid. And the kids in the back of the bus think she's saying, we're going to pick up the nude kid. So they think that Neil's gonna come out of his house with no clothes on. And when Neil comes out of his house with clothes on, they just decide to keep calling him the nude kid for the rest of his life. And that's why Neil is called the nude kid. Thanks for reading my books. Have a great day. See you guys. Hi, I'm Dori Hillestead Butler. I'm the author of more than 50 books for kids and teens, including the King and Kayla series. This is King, and this is King's human, Kayla. And Kayla has a good friend named Jillian. So my trivia question for you is, what is the name of Jillian's dog? While you're thinking about that, let's see if I can introduce you to my dog, Mouse. Hey, buddy. Mouse, can you say hi to everyone? Good boy. Are you ready for the answer? You can find it on page 14 and 15. That's where we first meet Jillian in the series. So there's Jillian and there's her dog, Thor. So the answer to the question is Jillian's dog's name is Thor. Hi, this is children's book author and illustrator Brian Lees. In my book, The Rough Patch, which is a story about loss and hope, the main character, Evan, finds his way back to hope through a certain kind of plant in his garden. Do you know what that plant is? The plant is a pumpkin vine which sneaks in under his fence and surprises him. Hi, book buddies. Amy Dykeman here with a trivia question about one of the books I've written, Wolfie the Bunny. Okay, here's the question. What do you suppose is Wolfie's favorite food? I'll give you a hint. That's right. It's carrots. <laughs> carrots are awesome. And books are awesome too. Just make sure you eat the carrots and read the books and not the other way around. Okay guys, until next time, read on. Bye! Hi, I'm Dan Yaccarino and my question to you is, who is the character that appears in both of these books? Trashy Town and Smashy Town. That's right, it's Mr. Gilly. Thank you. See ya. Hi, I'm Laura Numeroth, the author of this book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And my trivia question is, what do you think the mouse is going to do after he washes all the floors in the house? <gasps> He'll probably want to take a nap. Stay safe, everybody. Don't forget, wash your hands. Bye. Hi, I'm Marjorie Kyler. And my question is, uh, why is the skeleton in my two new books, uh, Bonaparte Falls Apart and Bonaparte Plays Ball, why is the skeleton named Bonaparte? 
And the answer is because he's always falling apart. He has loose bones. Happy reading. Hi, I am Anika Morose Reese, author of many picture books, chapter books, and young adult novels, including the Anna Banana chapter book series, starting with Anna Banana and the Friendship Split. And my question for you is, in the Anna Banana chapter books, what kind of animal is banana? The answer is, banana is a wiener dog. She is long and skinny in the middle, just like a banana, and she helps Anna, her person, deal with all the ups and downs of having two best friends in elementary school. That's Arugula, my dog. Hi, this is Tara Lazar, and I wrote The Monster. My trivia question is, in the monster, what is the thing that finally scares Gracie? A tiara. What? Hi, this is Brian Lees, the author and illustrator of a number of books about bats, including Bats at the Beach, Bats at the Library, Bats at the Ball Game, Bats in the Band. And in my bat books, uh, there is a little bat wearing yellow things on its wings. Uh, do you know what those things are? Those are floaties, which he got in the first bat book, Bats at the Beach. Hi, people. I am Annie Barrows, which means that I am the author of the Ivy and Bean books. Yikes. All of them. Now, I am going to ask you a trivia question about Ivy and B. What is the name of the street that Ivy and Bean live on? And, you know, because here in Ivy and Bean land, we kind of approve of cheating, I'm going to give you a hint. It's named after something round, okay? Now, I'm gonna count to four before I tell you the answer. So if you kinda wanna go run and get your book and look it up, that's cool. One, two, three, four. Ivy and Bean live on Pancake Court, named after my cousin, Sally Ann Pancake. Okay, so long, kids. Hi, this is Greg Pizzoli, author and illustrator of many books. Let me see if I have some here. Uh, I wrote the picture book, The Watermelon Seed, Good Night Owl, The Book Hog, and many others. But um, Bob from the Hopewell branch uh, asked me if I could come up with a trivia question about my new book, my first ever graphic novel, Baloney and Friends. And my trivia question is, this half title image is a riff on a famous band's logo. Does anybody know what band I'm referencing there? And the answer is <laughs> the Ramones. Yeah, it's a reference to the Ramones logo. I'm a big fan of punk music and the Ramones especially. And that is a riff on their logo. It features the four characters from Baloney and Friends, Baloney, Peanut, Biz, and Krabbit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. If you enjoyed a little bit of trivia and I hope you'll check out my new book. See you later. Bye. Hi, folks. My name is Sarah Barron, and I'm the author of the book New Shoes. If you've read the book, I have a question for you. What's the name of the donkey shoemaker? This guy right here on the cover putting shoes on that monkey. If you said Francis, you were right. And just in case you're wondering, Francis is named after St. Francis of Assisi, patron saint of animals, and Francis the Badger, who stars in the Russell Hoban books, and who was one of my favorites as a kid. Happy reading. 
Nina and I hope you really enjoyed that trivia quiz. I know she did. She remembers hearing a lot of those books when she was younger. Uh, thanks again to the authors for taking the time out of what obviously is a busy schedule for them to provide us with these questions. And remember that their books are available on our online database. Uh, you can check things out on our e-library. Go to mcl.org for all kinds of information. And we'll be back with another trivia quiz right down the road. Everybody stay safe.